then I open up my cartridge. Because the cartridge is only good for about five minutes after you've opened it. So I'm going to turn on my machine. You peel off the blue backing. You can do that. And this is the metal connection there. Right at the opening there. See where the metal connection is? That slides, that part slides into the machine. Just like this. The whole thing, right? And it clicks in place. The moment I plug the cartridge in, it's going to start checking to see if it's a good cartridge or not. Okay. Now, I'll, immediately, it says that I have a sensor error because it knows that that cartridge is expired. It's old. Okay. Um, but what should happen is it's going to check the cartridge, make sure that it's calibrated. Um, it's got that little calibration gel over the top of it. And if it's a good cartridge and it calibrates properly, it'll say to, that you can run your specimen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the cap, and I'm going to attach my syringe to the opening here. And there's a special way you have to inject it. So we're going to practice this. See how they're holding it? Just like that. So you put your syringe on there, and you give it a little twist so it locks in place, so it doesn't splatter all over the place. Okay? And you're going to hold it like this. And it's a popping motion. You push down on the barrel, and it has to push the electrolyte off of the sensors and have the blood on top of the sensors. Okay, so I'm just going to pop it down like that. If you should look inside that window and see any air bubbles, that's not acceptable. And you just kind of tap on it, and it scoots the air bubbles into the waste chamber. That round circle there on the small cartridges, or that that area that kind of looks like a maze is overflow. So you could push as much as like four or five cc's into there. You wouldn't want to do that. You don't need to do that. Okay? You just want to put enough in so that all the electrodes are covered with blood without any air. Okay? And then in, within 60 to 90 seconds, it will print out your blood gas results. And you're going to go in and put in information about your patient, 